Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about my sewing plans for the end of summer, a little bit transitioning into, into the fall and talking a little bit about what things I need right? What things I need to, for my day to day. And then of course, things that I want that are just nice to have and talking about things that we need versus things that we want. I need to talk about today's, um, sponsor for today's video. And that is Ana Luisa. And guys, I have talked to you about Ana Luisa quite a couple other times. They are a jewelry designer. Uh, their jewelry is actually designed in New York. And since they are designed in New York, uh, they make sure that they test for things like allergies, for things, um, allergies that your jewelry doesn't tarnish. And if you have any issues with that, they have a two year warranty, which I have to say that I did not know that they offer this, but it is really nice. I've actually talked to um, my mom and my sister, and I don't know if I've told you guys, my sister lives in Miami and she has some Ana Luisa jewelry. It is humid down there. And then my mom also has some Ana Luisa jewelry, which I told you the last time that I had sent some things up for them for the holidays. And I talked to them and I said, is anything tarnished? Is everything doing well? You know, because they are sweating and they are moving about, they're wearing their jewelry and they actually said, no, it is actually um, holding up pretty well, which I'm happy to um, to hear that. And my jewelry is actually um, doing pretty well too. I recently got, and I'm going to get closer to the camera, I recently got uh, this um, necklace, which is so pretty. It's 16 inches long. And guys, in the back, it says one only you, um, which is really nice. And then I also got um, this heart ring, which I absolutely love because I am working in the sewing room or perhaps if I'm not, I am walking my dogs. So I don't want to have anything um, too gaudy around. I like things that are dainty and that I can wear every day that almost I don't realize that they're there. Another thing that I am big on is also making sure that the companies that I am buying from are... Um, they're earth friendly and I do appreciate when they send me all their jewelry in a, um, in packaging that I can recycle or use. Like I've told you guys, I get the jewelry in these like little pouches, see if I can, little pouches. And then I have, I have a few of these and one I have stored my, um, my headphones, sometimes if I go walking and I want to wear my headphones, I put those on my purse or sometimes I put, um, I put sewing needles in there. So I love these. If you guys are um, thinking that you want something from Ana Luisa, I am going to go ahead and put a 20% off discount code below. Definitely please check them out. It is part of things that I want. And without further ado, let's talk about things that I need and that I want. And today we're going to be talking about um, my sewing plans for later on this summer and transitioning into, um, into fall. And of course, talking about clothing that I need, like t-shirts and shorts and dresses and then things that I want which is perhaps nicer, um, nicer garments, but do I really need those? So let's go to the design table and let me show you what I'm thinking of. And then let me know in the comments below what you guys think that I should do with one of my last options. All right. So first things first, talking about things that, um, that I want and I need. So I've been looking for some sort of a dress that I can just wear every day with my new jean jacket. I had made it earlier this summer. It's white, 
but I want something to transition with this jacket from summer to fall. And this is the Aster top and dress. It's from True Bias. It is brand new. I believe it released earlier, sometime last week. So I really wanted to find out what do I have in my fabric stash that I can um, use to, I'm thinking to make both views. And of course, starting uh, with, the, um, with the top. And guys, I have this, um, this double gauze fabric and I have just enough. I think I have like 1.2 yards. So a little bit more than a yard. And they are telling you that you can make this top with a yard. And this is actually going to be kind of like my quasi wearable muslin so I'm going to try that. I have to do some adjustments to this. I have to lower the bust start and also do a small bust adjustments because the um, true bias patterns are created for a C cup and I am a B cup. So I'm going to start with a small bust adjustment, see where the dart ends up at, and then adjust from there. But I thought that this was a really nice classic design that I can wear again and again. And what this does not show is it's pretty much like an A-line shift dress, but on the back it has buttons, which of course sometimes it could be a little bit hard, but I am thinking that I can um, keep most of the buttons closed and just um, adjust the top button based on when I put it on and off. So that's what I'm thinking of using this um, double gauze that I have in my stash for the top, create a muslin, and then use this linen that I've had in my stash for quite some time, um, quite some time. Think um, the fabric.com days that are no longer around. It's been washed. I just have enough for the dress, which I believe it's like two and a half yards. Um, I don't, the dress comes with, um, if you wanted to do lining on it, I don't think I do. I think I just want to, um, want to keep it with the linen and, um, see how it wears over time. So that's kind of like one of those things that I'm going to start. And then I had talked about in my essentials video, a white t-shirt and guys, I have to say that um, there is no such thing these days as too many of those because I do wear them with shorts. I do wear them with skirts. I wear um, white t-shirts to work out, to walk around my neighborhood. I wear it under a hoodie sometimes. Believe it or not, we've had some colder nights here in Chicago where... Um, it's just nice to sit outside with a pair of shorts, a white t-shirt, and a hoodie. So I got this um, knit modal from Surge Fabric. And as usual, I put a link to all of these fabrics on the website, along with the patterns and pictures and all that good stuff. So if you'd like anything, you can go, um, you can go get it. So I'm going to make myself, um, and I've already made this, I've made a view D. So I'll make it with this fabric. I got three yards of this stuff. It's beautiful. It's from Robert Kaufman, Search Fabric. I love it. So I'm definitely going to make a t-shirt out of that. Then talking about talking about linen because it is still it is still summer technically, right? But we're going into fall because you know how the 1st of September that Labor Day weekend the breeze seems a little cooler and party over. But I still got one more month, so I am going to make full use of it. And I also have this olive green linen in my stash. It's been here for quite some time. I got it on a remnant bin at Joann's, and I've never used it. But I'm thinking that I'm going to make myself a pair of Danny shorts from True Bias. I'm not going to go crazy with zippers and all of that stuff. I'm just going to make the view where it just has an elasticated waistband. You pull them up, 
you pull them down and you go about your life. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So it should be a pretty quick sew, right? And then talking about linen, because why not, right? Um, so I saw a picture of this dress on Instagram and I'm going to put it up. See how pretty it is. Do you guys not notice the ladder trim on um on the shoulders and kind of like just that little detail? So I've been looking for quite some time for linen in that color. I think it is so pretty. Um, so I was able to find this at Minerva and I've washed it already. It is ready to go. And I looked online, all over online, for um, for this ladder trim. I didn't realize how hard it is to get this stuff. So I was able to get this. I'm thinking that I may have to remove the color on this trim and then go ahead and dye it with um, some dye and like a violet, very light color. But... Um, that's kind of like one of the things that I want to make this month. Kids are going back to school in two weeks. I cannot wait. So definitely, um, this is one of those dresses that I've been meaning to make for a really long time. If you guys have another source for um, a ladder trim or ladder lace, this is, this is about an inch wide from side to side, right? But the little, the little trim where it goes, it's about three-eighths of an inch. It's really pretty. It's very soft. I got it off of Etsy and I will be using this pattern. It's McCall's 7360. I have done a so long for this pattern. I already know what I'm up against. I am most likely going to do view B, get rid of those pockets, and then um, extend the length of that tunic to make it long enough. And of course, also make myself a belt just like the picture. I'm super excited about this. Um, tell, me, tell me what you guys think about that. And then, and then, so I've been, I've been seeing a lot of these videos with or patterns with cutouts and I have to say they look beautiful but of course you have to have a certain body type for that and this is kind of part of today's video of I want I don't quite need this but I think it would be really nice to have and that I can wear around but I have two different patterns and two different options I think I know what I want to do, but I definitely would like to hear what you guys have to say. So I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It is a lightweight. It's a lightweight rayon. It has a very much a summer print. And then you have a little bit of these kind of colors with a little bit of some sort of aubergine, which is nice. It just means that I can... Um, that I can use this and throw a jacket over it, right? And probably like a pair of sandals or if you guys see me on the street, I wear a lot of perhaps like Keds or sneakers just to walk around, just so I'm comfortable. But I was looking at, and I have this pattern here somewhere. I just have to dig it out. So I'm going to put a picture up. It is a butterick pattern. It does have a slight cutout in the back and it has two different views that I'm kind of thinking of. They're both sleeveless, but the length skirt is a little bit different. One has a longer skirt, which it feels more like an A-line skirt. And then another one that has more of a, kind of like more of a shaped skirt with kind of like front pockets, which I really love too. So that is option A, right? Again, these are things that I don't quite, that I don't quite need, but that I want. And my second option, which is so pretty. So I found this pattern at Vogue Fabrics in Evanston. And again, I was just looking at patterns and I'm like, oh, this pattern looks so beautiful. So I'm either looking at view A, 
which has an opening towards the back. And I will probably play where it attaches in the back just so I can cover my bra. Or also looking at the view B, again, it has, um, let me show you the drawings, the line drawings. It has a simple skirt, which is perfect because I'm really trying to get away from things like gathers. I just, I don't need gathers. I like things that just kind of skim the body, give me a little bit of a shape because I am very much um, a rectangle. So I like things like this and that just has a little bit enough of a cutout that I feel comfortable and age appropriate for me. I am not, I'm not up there, I'm not older, but I also like to dress a little bit more modest and if you like to show a little bit more skin and you can do it, you know what? I usually say, go for it, right? Age is just a number, but that's how I feel. And I found this fabric at Style Maker Fabrics and I absolutely love it. I love the weight of it. It is a rayon twill, so it's a little bit more structured, but it still has just enough drape that I can do this dress. Both of these have some sort of a lining inside in the bodice that gives this fabric a little bit more structure. I love this. So I'm really kind of trying to hesitate between these two. So what do you guys think? Again, this last item is not something I need. It's something I want. Um, and just kind of like treat myself, right? Because sometimes it's just like jewelry sometimes. Yes, I don't need it, but it's just a nice little treat that is not going to break the bank, just like um, jewelry from Ana Luisa, which is so budget um, friendly. And guys, I have to tell you, these days I am very budget friendly and cost conscious. So what do you guys think? Do I do the McCall's out of print pattern M7740 or do I go a little bit more summery with um, this uh, fabric from Hobby Lobby with the Butterick print? So let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to um, check out Ana Luisa. They are, um, they are, they update their jewelry on their website pretty often with some beautiful new designs. And I went ahead and gave you a code below so you can, um, that you can definitely, um, get a little discount because that always helps. So let me know in the comments below, which one of these two do you guys think? And I will see you next time. Bye.